Today we are going to show you one of the best day trips or overnight trips or stops on your way to La Paz, especially if you want to escape the busyness and crowdedness of Los Cabos. It feels like we're the only people here. We are in the La Sierra de la Laguna mountain natural park area. We're actually specifically near um, the town of Santiago. It is about an hour drive from San Jose del Cabo, making it, like I mentioned, a great day trip or a great stop on your way to La Paz or we're gonna do an overnight trip so we can really take in everything in this area. Our first stop is the Overlook of Santiago and it just is this beautiful oasis-like view. It's exactly when you hear about an oasis in the desert, even though right now it's pretty green and doesn't feel super deserty, I think, because they've been getting a lot of rain, but it's just this beautiful pool of water and tons of palm trees. It's right outside of the town of Santiago, and you actually can see how Santiago is built around this oasis area. So once you know we've enjoyed the views, taken some pictures and videos, we're gonna head into town to find some lunch. The town of Santiago is really small. There's only like 640 people that live there. The plaza is tiny. We ate at one of like the two restaurants in town called Restaurante Pericu. And it is named after the indigenous people that lived here. Cortez and other Spanish conquerors tried to conquer this land, but they were just unable to. Eventually after like the Mexican revolution, they started sending more people here to develop the land again since it was pretty much uninhabited at that time and then the mission was rebuilt. So after we ate lunch, which was super good, very affordable, I would expect to spend around 200 pesos a person. We spent about 400, which was about $24 and the plates and servings were huge. The birria was delicious. We also had their like specialty chilaquiles, which was really good. I'd recommend it, affordable and delicious, great serving sizes, plus not very many options. So there, there being so few options, it was really good. We're gonna head off to the Airbnb next, which is more in the kind of mountain, natural area so we're also going to see if before it starts raining again <laughs> we can check out some hot springs tried to go to the hot springs but turned around since it looked like it was going to rain a lot and it did but the road was also very bumpy and a dirt road so we turned around and made it to our airbnb a super cute cabin at rancho ecologico sol de mayo it was about a 30 minute drive on a better dirt road from santiago and cost around 120 a night which is double our average for the rest of the trip but worth it the cabin is super cute and has a really comfy king-size bed and private bathroom. There's also a separate private kitchen area if you want to cook, but we're on vacation, so we decided to buy dinner from the restaurant. Honestly, I wasn't impressed with the food and I felt like it was overpriced, but it's a 30 minute drive back to town, so it's worth it to eat here for the convenience. We paid 650 pesos for chicken quesadillas, steak tacos, and two Cokes. The best part of staying here is that it is only a 10 minute walk to the waterfall and entrance is included. If you're visiting on a day trip, it's 150 pesos a person. There's not much service here, so we're going to relax and go to sleep early. So tomorrow morning before they open to the day trippers, I'm going to hike to the waterfall and explore. It took about 15 or 20 minutes for me to walk to the waterfall from the cabins. I was stopping for pictures and videos, so if you stop or you don't stop, it'll probably be a little bit faster. Uh, there's two trails, one that goes down to the waterfall and one that goes up. First I went down to the waterfall, spent some time just 
taking pictures, videos, climbing on the rocks, checking out all the views. When I crossed the river, I did slip and fall on my butt. So if you're gonna cross, just <laughs> be wary. It's very slippery. You definitely can swim. I saw a lot of people swimming um, or with swimsuits yesterday. I just was a little bit nervous to swim by myself, not you know being familiar with the area. I kept walking up the trail though and came to this like river area that's not super deep and just really calm. So I'm just sitting here with my feet and legs in the water relaxing for a little bit before I head back. I think it was super worth it to stay the night here so that this is it's empty. I have been the only person I've seen over here, which is like a little nerve wracking when you're in a new, <laughs> new place, but also super cool to experience just such a beautiful place by yourself. If you were to just do a day trip from Los Cabos, I would recommend leaving early in the morning, like 8 or 8.30, driving to the Overlook, stopping there for a second, and then you continue on that dirt road to the Rancho Ecologico uh, Sol de Mayo, and then go to the waterfall, head back to Santiago, eat lunch there in the restaurant, and then head back to Los Cabos. You may have time for the uh, hot springs if you want to do a lot of driving in one day. In my opinion, waterfalls are cooler than hot springs but they are both pretty cool. So it just depends which one you prefer. Thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna drive to La Paz, so subscribe for videos about the ultimate snorkel tour in La Paz and the prettiest beach in all of Mexico.